Okay, folks, now I've got some really exciting news. So if you haven't seen our face, Facebook post on the master plan for the school and the excitement of the new building coming, I'm going to quickly run you through everything. It was great that Chris Brain was able to uh, uh, announce this and uh, we thank Chris so much for all his work. Oh, it's great, with great pleasure, uh, Chris and I uh, today have the, uh, the privilege of... Uh, running you through our master plan. And Chris, this is just a dream come true for us. And uh, we thank you so much for all your involvement. Hi, Rosebud Primary School community. I'm ecstatic for you guys. You know, it's obviously such a huge win for the Rosebud community at large. It's gonna have impacts that go well beyond my time in office. It's gonna go, you're, you're gonna be principal for another 50 years, Fish. But, uh, so you'll see all the outcomes of this, but um, you know, it's gonna have just a long lasting effect on the Rosebud School community. You know, seeing the fact that Rosebud Primary School is going to have a gymnasium, you know, which is going to be so great for the school community. You'll be able to hold assemblies there and you'll be able to hold mass gatherings there as well. It's going to have such a, a positive impact on the community. You know, we fought for this day and night. We spoke about Rosebud Primary School to the department. Um, you know, when I got elected, we just we met with you and we've been really pushing for this so far. So, so to be able to get the money for the rebuild and then to now see the master plan, we're just ecstatic. I'm ecstatic for the Rosebud Primary School community. I know the community there is ecstatic and we're just keen to come down and, and see you all and uh, when we're allowed to, <laughs> when the restrictions ease. So I'm excited for that. Okay, Chris, well, I'll go ahead and show everybody the plans, but thank you so much for all your involvement. Thanks, and Mr. Thank Fisher. You, thank you. Uh, for everything you've done uh, on the peninsula since you've been elected. You've certainly got things moving, mate. Thanks, heaps. We're really excited. It's also brought you know, basically it's a dream come true for us because our unique teaching model is now going to be supported throughout the school. And I'll run you through just a few little things about the new build that are just so exciting. So we'll start with our new learning hub, which is a two story learning hub. I'm only allowed to show you uh, the master plan drawings at the moment. Mr. Fisher's actually had a uh, behind the scenes view and it's even more exciting than what's actually shown on here but if you think about where our old BER building is and one day we'll actually get the uh, correct Boonarong name for our BER building we walk out off a beautiful deck onto this wonderful area here which is going to be uh, a, a deck and into our art room, which is massive. So our present art room is about 90 square metres. This one is 150 square metres with a kiln and storage room. So if you're into art, oh my goodness, what a place to be. Now, if we go underneath that art room over to here, we've got our brand new STEM room. And the STEM room is again, 150 square meters. It's incredibly, it's an incredible building. And it's gonna open out onto our farm, about where the old tank sits now. So we'll be losing our tank. And this is actually going on top of where our sheds are now. So we're not losing any playground area within the school. So it's a really good use of our space. And also too, I've really got to emphasize that while the building's going on, all our children will be able to remain in their current classrooms and no, without any disruption to their learning. And this is an incredibly important thing so that they can get through this build, the excitement of seeing it built, but also be in their classrooms learning just as they normally would. So that's probably the best message I can get through to your parents, that nothing's going to change while all this happens around the kids. It's going to be so exciting. So we go into these two buildings, we've got our, uh, our, our art and underneath it our STEM. We're thinking our grade fives will fit into this area. And our teaching model sits around having four home rooms and breakout rooms where extra groups and those extra learnings can take place. So when we have our mass specialist or our English specialist come in to teach the uh, the the differentiated learning groups or the targeted learning groups, they have their own particular classroom now to work in. So it's like having a fifth classroom outside of that. Plus over here, there's a, this lovely assembly area for the kids to work in as well. So there's whole group, explicit teaching spaces right around, plus areas for teachers to work in. 
and there's a lift in the middle of the building that gets you up to the top floor, which is just incredible. Uh, Mr. Fishel might need that soon. He's getting pretty old. So uh, that'll get me up. I won't have to walk up those steps from the bottom of the school anymore. That'll be very nice. Look, this is amazing because it now means that our teaching model will be the same whatever year level you are in. And we're incredibly excited about that. We'll probably retain these portables here, which are where the grade ones are at the moment. It possibly will become grade two. Um, over in the BER, that will, that will be maintained here and probably be grade three and grade four. And over here in this building, we'll move to grade one and prep. Now I'll get you a bit more of a um, mock-up of this one because I think this is important for you to have a look at. So the present art room is going to be split into two and it will be two, one, two, three, four classrooms for grade one with a breakout area and access to the toilets. And this is incredibly exciting for the preps. We have our one, two, three, four prep classrooms and the cave that used to be just this little blue area here is going to come out and be a section all by itself with the preps toilets being there and a beautiful little staff area and uh, area for where Linda can work with her small groups. So again, those targeted learning groups in each of those particular areas have explicit teaching spaces so that they can really concentrate on their teaching. Now, it gets even better. We come down here to the new gymnasium and this is a netball basketball stadium that has to be built to Commonwealth Games specifications so that a, basically a high level game of netball can be played in here. Uh, it's a fantastic building. It has a, a classroom basically and a foyer that Mr. Smithett wants to use as his uh, uh, so, sports science area and then a massive storage area for all our outdoor ed equipment. So our school ha is really the outdoor ed school. It has so much outdoor ed stuff with our bus and our outdoor ed trailers and all our bikes will all fit in here as well. So we're incredibly excited about that. But then it just gets even better because we get rid of all of the portables that are up here and we get our beautiful oval back and that's incredibly exciting. So that's all going to happen. Something really incredible is happening right at the moment. And I'm gonna to throw to Mr. Mack, who's actually out on site to tell you all about the new playground.